Good morning, Threes friends. Happy Tuesday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know it got pretty wet and kind of yucky on Sunday, but I hope you still had fun and were able to do some awesome Easter activities, even though it was a little bit wet. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about our seasons and why we have them. First, I want to ask, how many seasons do we have? Did any of you say four? We have four seasons. Right now, we are in spring. After spring, we have summer, and then autumn, and then winter. So let's count those. One, two, three, four. Four seasons. It's spring right now. Spring is one of my favorites because the days get longer. It starts to get warmer. All of the birds and the insects and the plants start coming out after a very long, cold winter. So let's look at why we might have seasons. I've set up a little demonstration over here. We're going to take a look at it. What we have here is the planet Earth and a light bulb. Now this light bulb is going to be like the sun. But as you can see over here, we have the planet Earth. The stick here is called the axis. The axis is how the Earth rotates or turns around. The Earth has two forms of movement. It rotates around the axis but then it also revolves around the sun. Now to revolve around the sun, it travels in a path around the sun. The rotation around the axis gives us day and night. Revolving around the sun gives us the year. The Earth makes one full rotation all the way around the Sun in one year. I'm going to turn the light on. I'm going to turn the Sun on. I'm going to try to move the camera over here and just look at the Earth right now because if I point it at the light while I'm turning it on, I think it might blind us a little bit. So let's turn our camera this way. Well, I turn on the sun, click, oh, it still is very, very bright. So let's talk about day and night first. This little flag right here, this is where we live. You can see this line in the middle. This is called the equator. That's the center point of the Earth. Below the equator is the southern hemisphere, Above the equator is the northern hemisphere. So where is our flag? It's up at the top, it's above the line, so we live in the northern hemisphere. As the Earth rotates, you can see right now, we have a bright spot and a dark spot. So right now what we're seeing is day and night. And as the Earth rotates on its axis, different parts of the planet have day and night. So right now, where are we? We're on the dark side. So we're in nighttime. But over in Europe, Asia, China, Russia, and even Australia, they are having daytime. All of our maps make it look like the axis goes straight up and down on the planet. That's not entirely true. The Earth is actually at an angle compared to the Sun. 
the earth is at about a 23 degree angle. I'm going to turn us back towards the sun, so we're in daytime right now. So the earth is not straight up and down like this, it is at an angle on its axis. And this is what gives us our seasons. Now that you see that the axis is at an angle, 23 and a half degrees, you can see that where we are right now, the distance between the sun and where we are is longer than the distance between the sun and the southern hemisphere. So what the earth is in right now is when we would have winter. But down here in the southern hemisphere, they're having summer because they are closer to the sun, so they get more heat and more light. As the earth revolves around the sun, that means it goes around the sun, not rotating, but going around it. Oh, I knocked over the sun. That's a silly thing to do. Let's see if we can get it set back up. There we are. Now we've gone a half rotation, so we're on the other side of the sun. And if you look at it now, let's turn it again so that it's during daytime for us. You can see that where we are, the flag is closer to the sun than the southern hemisphere. So that means that now it's summer for us and winter down here because we are closer to the sun. We get more heat and more daylight. As the earth moves around and revolves around, when we get here to the front, we're gonna be in autumn because we get, we still get, we're still closer, but we're getting further away. So the amount of time we have in the sunlight and close to the heat is getting less. If we come back over here, it's winter again. If we come back here, it's spring because the northern hemisphere is starting to get closer and every day that we rotate around or revolve around rather we are getting closer to the sun and now we're in summer through this whole time the earth is still rotating on its axis so we're still having night and day And now we're in summer again. Now this model is not to scale. That means that the sun and the earth are not the right size. If we were to do this actually the right size, this light bulb is close in size to a tennis ball, not quite the right size. But if the sun was this size, the Earth wouldn't be this big. The Earth would be a lot smaller. Let me pull over a little sheet that I wrote out. I'm going to move the Earth back to autumn and pull this over. This is how many suns would fit in. I'm sorry, this is how many Earths would fit in the sun. 1,000, or excuse me, 1,300,000 Earths would fit in the sun. So if the sun was the size of this light bulb, the Earth would be the size of the very tip of this pencil. Not all the way down, just the very, very tip. 
as you can see, that's a lot smaller than the globe that I made. So we are very small compared to our sun. That's why we can have the nice heat and light without it being too hot for any of us. And we can have all the life that exists on our planet. One sun, 1,300,000 Earths. So that's why we have seasons, is because of the angle of the axis of the Earth and how we revolve around the sun. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. I'm going to put up a book also about the spring, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll talk to you again a little bit later. Have a great day.